Hey everyone, this is Alex from Market Call, and in this video I want to talk about how you can run Facebook Elite ads for paper call offers. This is quite an exciting method, and uh, some of our affiliates use it a lot to run uh, paper call offers uh, with our network. So let's get started and uh, let me show how you can do uh, it by yourself. So let's firstly talk about the user flow. Uh, like uh, firstly, the customer sees the Facebook ad, uh, then he clicks uh, like button get quotes or something like this, and he goes to Facebook lead form or it can be a messenger quiz as well. After filling uh, some information, after submitting the form, he will see a completion message with the phone number to call. So here you can input uh, your phone number from market call and once he calls this number, you will get paid uh, for this call. And also uh, you will collect uh, user data inside Facebook, like his phone number, his email, and after that, you can follow up him with a callback, with SMS, with email, uh, and you can promote your offer and generate additional calls or leads uh, for this user. So it's exciting because you can uh, monetize this uh, customer several times, sending him different offers. Uh, I will talk about this uh, later in this video. So uh, now let me show you how you can set up this campaign in Facebook. So you need to choose a campaign objective uh, lead generation. Let's skip uh, the process of setting up ad group and move on directly to the ad setup. So uh, you can choose a question format. It can be instant form. It's like traditional lead ad uh, form. Or it can be automated chat. So it's the same I talked about in previous video on the click to messenger ads. But it uh, works a similar way as uh, lead form because it also collects uh, user information. So uh, I recommend to use uh, instant form because it's uh, more converting uh, in this type of ads. Here you can choose uh, two types of uh, forms. It can be more volume or high intent. So the difference, um, the difference is with the more volume, um, Facebook will pre-fill some questions uh, that he already knows about the customer, like uh, phone number, email, name. Uh, Facebook will automatically input uh, customer information here and customer don't need to write it by himself. Uh, so this way you will get high conversion rate, uh, but some leads uh, may have some some old information. For example, customer has changed the number, but Facebook uh, will input the old number of the customer. With high intent form type, a customer will have to fill all the question by himself. So here you may see a lower conversion rate, but the quality of those leads will be much higher. So it's up to you which form type to use. Uh, but uh, I would recommend to start with uh, more volume because it will give you cheaper leads. Now let's uh, move next. Uh, you need to set up some greeting page with some image and uh, welcome text. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, the main part is setting up questions. So you can add custom questions where customer needs to answer them by himself. And there are some pre-fill questions where Facebook can uh, pre-fill the customer data on, in these fields. It can be email, full name, uh, phone number, and some other questions you can see by yourself. Uh, then you need to insert the link to privacy policy. It's a strict requirement from Facebook. So you need to still have a website and on the website you need to create a privacy policy page and just insert the link to this page uh, on Facebook setup tool. And the final step is uh, setting up a completion message. So you need to, uh, to write some text like thank you for submitting quote. We will contact uh, like uh, so you need to set up uh, a completion message uh, with the text like uh, thank you submitting a quote, we will contact you soon. 
or you can call a or you can call our agents uh, right now on this number below. And then uh, you set up uh, a phone number and a call button on this page. So some of uh, the customers will call your number directly. So now let's talk about automated chat setup. It's the second type of lead ads uh, apart from uh, instant form. And it works the same way. So you set up the intro message then you set up some questions that the chat will ask, like email, phone number, name. And uh, after that, uh, you set up a completion message uh, with a link to your website. Unfortunately, uh, here you can't uh, insert uh, a phone number to call. Uh, that's why you need to use external service like ManyChat if you want to do that. And of course, so don't forget about privacy policy as well. It's a strict requirement from Facebook. Now, let's talk about uh, what you can do with the lead data that you collected from the customers. So there is a service called Zapier that is pretty popular among uh, Facebook digital marketers. And it allows to grab the data from Facebook and uh, pass it uh, to external services that can do callback, SMS, or email follow-up to the customers. So you can see here a pretty simple zap. Uh, so it triggers when a new lead comes uh, from Facebook lead ads. And then uh, you can create a lead in track drive. I will talk about a little bit later what is this service for. And also you can add a subscriber in send pools. So uh, track drive. It's a call tracking software that you can also use to set up a callbacks and send SMS to customers. Here you can see a setup inside the track drive. Uh, when the lead comes in track drive, you can uh, place a call to him, then wait some time, uh, place a call again, uh, wait some time again, uh, send SMS, and maybe set up a callback again. So it helps you to convert those leads uh, to inbound calls via this callback feature. Uh, the other service you can use is something for email marketing, like send pools. Uh, so you add the subscriber, and then, for example, you can send him SMS in one minute uh, with your offer. And uh, let's say in 30 minutes, you can follow up him with him again with your email. And uh, now the most interesting part is segmentation of your leads, uh, because in your lead form, you can ask additional questions like, are you a homeowner? Do you own a car? Do you have interest in fixing your credit score? Are you looking to reduce or restructure your debt? And if customers say yes, then you can add them in separate segments, and then you can uh, remarket those segments with your offers. Like, let's say you have customers that are homeowners, you can send them offers for home insurance, home warranty, home improvement. Or let's say you have customers that own a car, then you can send some offers for auto insurance and auto warranty. And of course, for real-time leads, uh, for all customers, you can send your main offer like in five minutes or in 30 minutes. And also you can use this lead data to create a lookalike audiences in Facebook that will allow you to target uh, like best uh, matching customers uh, that are similar to those customers that already filled the form. And now let me give you a bonus case study presented by our affiliate Ronald Hart. I will uh, link uh, his Facebook profile um, in the description of the video so you can talk with him directly. So he ran a campaign for Boy Scout abuse and the qualification criteria was a former Boy Scout that was sexually abused. Uh, that's pretty narrow niche, I would say. Uh, but the average payout was pretty good from 200 to 325 dollars on a three minutes buffer phone call. You can see creative examples here. 
And uh, he used uh, the same approach I talked about, uh, Facebook lead ads, instant form. As you can see, he asked a couple of questions. He asked for the phone number, of course. And in the completion message, he showed a phone number to call, like click to call button. And also he follow up customers using SMS and email. And uh, he got really good results, as you can see. Uh, 250,000 uh, profit uh, in several months. And it's uh, a rise of 166%. That's uh, pretty good results uh, with this uh, case and with this offer. So this is example of uh, this type of ads in action and it can really deliver results for different niches. So if you are if you liked this video, please uh, press thumbs up. If you have any questions regarding this topic, please uh, leave a comment below and ask. And also let me know what else you would like to learn about uh, regarding uh, digital marketing or paper call. And I will definitely make a video about it. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.